What's going on guys? Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches. And today I'm gonna to do a little bit of a walking tour for you for my young professionals, showing you where I think the best area is for you guys to call home. So right now we are in a building or right next to a building where I personally used to live, um, 610 Clematis Street. So we're just gonna show you the outside of the building and walk the area just to show you what the benefits are of living in a building that I used to call home. Let's go. Now, 610 is a building of about a little bit over 300 units, and it has one bedrooms all the way up to three bedrooms, mostly two bedrooms, two baths. Uh, they are available for sale and rent. Rent starts from around 2,800 going up to almost 3,500, depending on how many bedrooms and bathrooms you want. And the price point is around 400, all the way up to 600,000 depending on the model, the layout, the square footage. But one of the benefits of actually living down here, as you can see, that's the entrance right there. And now you have a number of options walking out from the building. So if you go right, that leads you to downtown City Place, Rosemary Square, it's now called. Or if you go left, you have Clematis Street, where all the happenings happen in the city, where you have different restaurants, shops, and bars on Thursday through Saturday. Now, also, just to show you, you do have the police station right across the street, in case you want to feel well protected. continue to walk this is Clematis Street so on sometimes on Friday nights they will block off this street here I know St. Patrick's Day was recently had and they blocked off the street and you can enjoy different events as well um, now a lot of people who live down here and a lot of young professionals as well have dogs so this is a brand new dog park for you guys where they have different pools play area for the dogs, murals on the wall, place where you can bring your dog and enjoy. Now we do have different happenings on the waterfront. As you can see downtown, West Palm has different events happening throughout the day. And as you can see, there's a lot of construction going on around me. Uh, because the area is seeing a lot of new construction. But you have different bars such as Lost Weekend. You have the Clematis Street City Center. Now one of my favorite spots are O'Shea's, which is new. It's not new, but it's an old favorite of mine where you go in there and you have a great Irish pub experience. You also have the Kapow Noodle Bar as well. Now, I haven't walked down too far, but I just want to show you what is in the immediate vicinity of walking down. So you can walk literally about 15 to 16 steps and have some great food, some great restaurants, some great shops within steps of your building and you're right back home. Now, if I turn to the left, we're walking down. This is where we're gonna head towards the Clematis Street, the Rosemary Square, Where you have Goldman Sachs. If you want to work close to the area, you have Rosemary Square down here. This is Goldman Sachs. These are different new, I want to say what, high equity, private equity businesses that have moved to the area of West Palm Beach.
Now, another great thing about living downtown as a young professional, you have access, especially in West Palm Beach, you have access to Orlando, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, all at a moment's notice. And what I mean by that is, you can catch the bright line from all three of those places right from a spot down the street from your house. So I've walked here from 16 Clematis Street to the bright line station, and it's taken me literally six minutes. There is the Bright Line station. And there is 610. So you're literally just a street walk away from having access to Miami Heat games, Miami Marlins games, which the season has just started. And you can go to Disney World and come back the same day if you're a big fan of Disney World and want to go to Orlando. Just a real walk, a real time walk from 610 to the Brightline. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this as well, but the Brightline also has their own building that you can call home as well, which is the Brightline Apartments. These are all apartments that you can rent. And they're right across the street from the Brightline. So you can even work in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, you wanted to take a risk or land though if you wanted to but i don't know if you got the patience for this every morning and come right back home to west palm beach pretty cool now not only can you live in 16 clematis but you can also live in park line which is right here and you're right across the street from felice a brand new restaurant that just started from new york city and also you have adrian's pizza harry's both of those are three amazing restaurants from New York City that have just moved in to service a lot of clients, a lot of young professionals moving into the area from New York City, which I think has turned this area into a great, great metropolis. And let's just do a quick walkthrough and show you the area of the restaurants right now. So this is a little quiet. Now, this is just one square block of downtown West Palm Beach, which I think is a great thing for young professionals if you want to live here because you have so many options of where you would like to go and entertain yourself either for work, after work, during work, for lunch, after lunch, happy hours. You have so many options from the Bright Line, which is right behind me, to downtown West Palm Beach, to Rosemary Square. You have happy hour options, dinner options, movie options, and you simply can't beat this location if you're a young professional now one of the other buildings that i didn't talk about which is a great rental option for you which is soul at city center it's a great option if you're looking to rent and find that place where you need to be so i'm surrounded by so many different rental places you have the whitney which is right behind me as well those are rentals as well as purchase options so you, there are so many different options and there's a lot of traffic around because I'm really walking right here on the street. But there are so many different options for you down here that if you're looking to rent or buy, 
It's not just 610. It's not just Sola City Center. It's not just the Whitney. It's not just the Prada. You have all those collections of condos being built right here. The Park Line, the Bright Line. The, this is the hub of West Palm Beach. And if you're a young professional, this is where I would want to be because there are so many networking opportunities for you. So if you're interested, just hit the number below, call or text me, and we can help find you a location. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.